What's up guys? I'm back. I'm ready to do more work on the engine. Today specifically we're going to be removing the camshaft and the lifters. We're going to be doing it all right now. <laughs> The first thing I want to do is just uh, look at the timing chain here. If there's more than five eighths inches of like play in it, you're probably going to want to replace it. I'm going to be replacing mine anyways. I'm going to be using an LS2 chain when I put it back together. Those are supposed to be quite a bit sturdier. Then the next thing that you're going to want to do is to make sure that the engine's in top dead center. And to do that, there are some little markings that you need to line up on the larger sprocket and the smaller sprocket. So on mine, hopefully you can see here, right there on the large sprocket there's a dot and then on the smaller sprocket there's also one just straight above it. When those two are lined up like they are right now, that means it's at top dead center. So after you get the two sprockets lined up so that it's sitting at top dead center, you're going to want to remove the timing chain and the first thing you're going to need to do is to remove these three bolts. And then once those bolts are off, we should be able to just slide this off and bring the whole timing chain off. So now let's see if we can get the lifters out. And before you take them out, you may want to note that like when we took out the connecting rods, you want to keep track of which lifters go into which um, hole and you're going to want to replace them back into those same holes. There's only one bolt on this lifter tray and we'll see if we can get that out. And none of them came out, so that's great. So I've been having some difficulty trying to get these lifters out of the engine. So I bought this tool that um, is supposed to help you get them out. So we'll give this thing a shot and see if, see if it is helpful here. All right, it looks like that worked. So the way this thing works is you put this in the top of the lifter and there's a little ball in here that makes it expand once you screw it on and then it just has this slide hammer that you slide out and uh, knocks it out. So I'll just go ahead and get the rest of these out then. Okay, so I got all the rest of the lifters out. Now I just need to get the camshaft out. There's this plate that holds the camshaft in here. There's four bolts and like just about every other bolt on here. It's a 10 millimeter. Loosen that up. So there's the camshaft cover. So now that I got the camshaft cover off, there's three bolts in the top of the camshaft that hold the sprocket on there. I just went to the hardware store and I found a couple longer bolts that will screw in here that hopefully I can hold on to and we can just pull it out. I'm hoping it will come out pretty easy. I think that everything else that's attached to the camshaft is already out of here. so. It should come out pretty easy, I'm hoping. Yeah, it's sliding right out. If I can get it in the right spots here. Yeah, it's coming out pretty easy as long as I can get it lined up just right. And I think that's a good sign. Yeah, 
And there we have it. Hey guys, thanks for checking out my video today. If you're interested in following the build, or if you're just interested in car videos in general, please hit my logo to subscribe to the channel. Also, if you thought this video was uh, good or helpful to you, please just like it and share it with your friends, and we'll see you next time.